Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Another beer. Today's beer is Keegan Ale's Mother's Milk. I'd like to ch thank Chad9976 and Chad's Beer Reviews. He sent me this bottle all the way from the United States of America. He lives about 150 miles outside of New York. Um, it's in a 12 fluid ounce bottle. It's 355 mils. UK terms and I've been on Beer Advocate for this and they kind of think it's around 5% ABV. There's a bottle cap, let's get this baby open. Okay, looking forward to this one. Um, out of all the beers he sent me, I like the name. This will be my first milk stout. So looking forward to that. Got the Vale de Morgan glass for this one. Let's pour it out to see what we get. Wow, it's very dark. Quite black. Not a lot of things. Very dark, quite black, not much of a head, no head at all actually. Let's see what aroma we're getting. Wow, it's lovely chocolate malts in there. It's It's got a very, very good quality, I'm going to come to it in a minute, but I can smell it. It's, it smells ever so slightly of whiskey. Now, let's give this a try. That is lovely. The, the chocolate and coffee is Definitely chocolate and coffee in there. Followed by this, it's got a nice oatmeal middle. Very, very, very good oatmeal middle to this. But the main thing you're getting is First of all, the very first thing I get is a slight hint of whiskey in the taste. Now I know this um, because basically I can't drink whiskey at all. I was I drank when I was when I was very very young, say I think it was about 16 years of age. Um, three of us drank a bottle of whiskey in, in five minutes. Um, we were, we then shot out. Um, Got very ill on the way down. Basically, can't remember. I think I collapsed on the on the pier down in Barry Island. I had to be dragged in a taxi and sent home. But I was ill for three days after that, and I've never been able to smell whiskey um, after that, let alone taste it. But I can handle it in this. But I definitely know it's whiskey. I can. It, it, it's it's slight. The reason being is it's been aged in um, rye whiskey barrels, the, the beer gets brewed in whiskey barrels, it's absolutely fantastic. So you've got that whiskey start, followed by the chocolate, malts, slight, or it's a bit more than slight, you've got a nice coffee flavour and there's a bit of a, there's definitely a taste of oatmeal there too. Um, but the initial kick is definitely the the alcohol, the whiskey type alcohol. But it's, it it is good. It's very, very good. Um, four point eight percent ABV. Uh, sorry, sorry. I believe it's five between four point eight and five percent ABV. That's again on Beer Advocate. I've got that. This has come all the way from. America, absolutely 
loving their styles of beer at the moment. They really know how to brew a beer. As this is going down, it's not, I wouldn't say this is not super smooth. I would, I would kind of expect, this is probably the thinnest stout I've ever drank. It's like cola. I would describe this as if 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 you want didn't know what this was and I asked you I asked you what that was in that glass, you would tell me it was a glass of cola without smelling it or tasting it. Very thin. Normally a stout is is, is um, a lot thicker than this. I'm not getting I'm not really getting the um, the milk in there, but Let's give it another go. Not really, I suppose it's slightly creamy. I suppose it is slightly creamy, but I was expecting um, this beer to, to really, as you said, this, it was a milk stout. I was expecting it to come out quite thick in a consistency. It's not that at all. Uh, any information on the bottle? Uh, don't drive a car. <laughs> okay, brewed and bottled by Keegan Ailes, Sar Saratoga Springs, New York. And there's a five, five cents refund on the bottle. Send the bottle back. Okay. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself now. Um, more, more my channels and what I do. If you if you want to get in contact with the Real Ale Guide, you can you can get in contact with me on Twitter, Real Ale Today. Um, email me, Real Ale Guide at googlemail dot com. <coughs> and me. Um, always leave your comments on YouTube. I love answering your comments. Um, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. But we're going to rate this beer now. Um, I think, to be fair, to be totally fair to this drink, I'm probably going to pull an 8 out of the bag. I was going to give a 7, but there's so much going on. It, it's slightly too thin, I think. I would probably would have liked to be a little bit thicker, but there's so many different flavors. I think an eight out of ten is fair. You got your oatmeal, your chocolate, your coffee. It's been aged in whiskey barrels, so there's a lot of care, a lot of attention gone to making these drinks. It's not one of these drinks. It's a mass-produced slop. It's crafted. Um, it's a great drink. If you if you're a stout lover, you'll enjoy this. But thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. And cheers.